Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Stories with Oluche. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and please hit the like button. If you are a new viewer, thank you for coming in and please hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates from me whenever I post content like this. So, today's story leaves you with more questions than answers, and I don't know what happened here. It remains a mystery, and I'm hoping that someday the Nigerian police are going to tell us what actually happened. But I have one suspect in mind. I don't know if it's strong enough to, uh, to suspect this person, but I feel like it's still worth thinking over. But before we get into the story, I must advise you that viewer discretion is advised. So on August 27, news broke that a family died after eating suya. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, many Nigerians consume this delicacy nearly every day and we never hear such incident. So there was a palpable tension in Abia State after seven people died after eating a popular barbecue known as suya. Uh, with an undisclosed brand of juice. So eyewitness reported that the father of the house, whose name was Sunday Jesse, uh, had gone out earlier in the day and came home with a bag of suya, which all the family, uh, including four extended family members who came on holiday, ate together. They all dipped hand into this bag of barbecue meat and they all ate it. And he also brought juice. So uh, we do not know what brand of juice or how he got it, but it was just a normal evening, everyone ate, drank, and then went to bed. So by the time help arrived, the family were already dead, except for the wife, Mrs. Jesse. Now, one of their sons uh, was still in, in boarding house, so he wasn't there to enjoy the meat with them. So here's where it gets interesting. The four children who died with uh, Sunday Jesse were not his kids. Those were his neighbor's kids. They used to live in a different property. So when they moved, they still kept in touch with some of those people. And, you know, on one of those occasions, he invited uh, their kids to come spend time with his own kids in their new place. So they came and, you know, they, their parents didn't think anything of it. I mean, they've been friends for a while. They used to live in the same property together. So it, they didn't really see anything wrong with uh, their kids going over to sunday's house to spend some time so um on that day sunday came home with the with the suya and fed the family everyone dipped in it so i do not suspect any foul play i mean sunday fed his own kids fed his wife he too he ate so um i do not think there's anything strange about this but what i do not understand is why um why why was what what was it that was poisoned was it the suya was it the juice and who would poison them i mean if there was a, a series of food poisoning going on or if there was something suspicious about the meat itself then other people would have suffered the same fate because the vendor who sells the suya would probably uh you know be in police custody by now explaining why or how um you know his meat killed a lot of people but it happened to be on this particular family that's what doesn't make sense who wanted them dead who would poison their meal you know so uh the governor of uh, abia state okay zeke bazu opened an investigation and there's no much information concerning her condition as of this time but it just makes you wonder what went wrong um only once in a while do you get to hear about someone dying of suya poisoning. Maybe she was lucky enough to survive or maybe she knows something about the meat. Or did Mr. Sunday deliberately poison the family? Was there a reason why he wanted everyone dead, including children of his uh, former neighbors? Or did the meat seller deliberately poison Sunday? You know poison the meat he purchased so that he can go kill his family or did someone sneak into their home and poisoned the meat because that's also worth considering but this case is little is known about it i don't know if the nigerian police are currently investigating i don't know what they're going to investigate out of it especially when the person who purchased the meat is dead and 
the survivor is still battling for her life in the hospital and their other son is far away in the boarding house so he couldn't be roped into this because he wasn't there in the first place but i wanted to talk to you guys about i wanted to share this story with you guys what do you think went wrong do you think that this family was deliberately poisoned do you think that there was something suspicious in the household itself that someone wanted the family dead or did you think that the the vendor could be held responsible the problem is you can't even find the vendor we don't know where he purchased this suya from it could have been from out of town it could have been closer to home we don't know it's something that is wrapped in a brown and a newspaper and in a black bag so nobody can tell where exactly it was purchased but then we have not had other incidents of people getting poisoned on that same day after consuming this year. What do you think happened to this family? Well, drop your comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get more updates from me. Thank you again for watching and have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.